one thing Quark Express 9 adds regarding tables is the ability to create automatic breaking tables. That means if a table doesn't fit on one page, it will automatically spill over to the next page or to more pages as much space is needed. And to set that up is really easy. All you need is a text box that is linked to another text box. In my case, I have two text boxes, one on the left, one on the right page, and I'll use the text linking tool that will connect these two text boxes. Of course, you can also use automatic text boxes on a master page. So that's my first step. The next step I need to do is I need to have a table. I have one prepared here and I will just cut that. I'll go back to my first text box and I will paste this into my text box. And that's all I need to do. I'm already done. Well, this table doesn't break yet because obviously it's too short. It will perfectly fit on my first page, so it doesn't need to break. So let's insert more rows. I'll just go to my contextual menu. I'll go to table, insert row, and I will insert maybe 10 more rows. And now you can see that my table automatically breaks to my next page. It will start exactly there where my text box starts. So if you want to have that on a higher position, that's very easy to do. You just need to enlarge or to move the text box that you have created. In my example, I want to have both start on the same coordinates. So I'll move that back. And it doesn't look perfect yet because what I need is I want to have the same header on all of my pages where my table appears. For that, I'll just put my text cursor in my header row, I'll go to table, table break, and now I can specify how many header rows I have. In my example, I have two. You can see this controls all of the properties that an anchor table needs to automatically break across pages. So here's my header rows, two. I can specify whether I have synchronized header rows or continued headers. I'll say OK. And now I'm basically done. I have on both pages the header rows, the two header rows here synchronized. And of course, when I change a header on one page, you can see it automatically changes on the next page too.